Hi guys, so basically we have a suitcase update. Our infamous suitcase. The infamous suitcase is back with us. So in this, so let's just get to the story actually. So basically we had, how many suitcases at Heathrow? Can you remember? Nine. We had nine suitcases at Heathrow. We had seven big ones and two little teeny ones. And when we got to here to Dubai Airport, we had eight. We had eight, which was six big ones and two teeny ones. This is the suitcase that was missing. Now this suitcase didn't even get a ticket put on it. And the frustrating thing about that is that we actually paid 988 pounds excess baggage costs all of the bags that we had didn't we it was yeah. a huge amount of it money it might sound not like a lot but again like we still paid for our baggage yeah we paid the extra baggage and then it just didn't turn up and obviously this was one of the baggages that we paid for on the excess so it was a bit strange that it didn't get a ticket on it or anything and that it didn't arrive in dubai so I noticed, I went on the, uh, the Heathrow Lost Property page and um, basically it said that there was an IT luggage suitcase, black, um, that was found on the day, uh, that, like the morning we travelled, the morning after we travelled because we travelled in the evening on the 11th and we arrived on the 12th. I slept through the she whole flight. She slept through the whole flight. And I just knew, I had so much faith that it was going to get back to us. but. Every time I was trying to get a hold of lost property, they were, no one was answering the phones, no one was answering the emails. It was a really long process. So tight. So it was a really long process. The suitcase was in Heathrow Airport. I just knew it was my one. Um, I'd filled out an online form. Adam basically said to me that there are so many suitcases that match this description. There's no way they're going to find it. They asked for what's inside. I sent a picture of what was inside. The lost property department were like, no, we don't have it. They said, go to another lost property department. They went to the other lost property department. This was all on the Sunday. He was backwards, forwards. He was getting, it was testing his patience. Anyway, on one of them was closed. So he, I said to him, please, please, please go back tomorrow morning. So in the interim, I filled out an online form. I'd already filled out an online form, but I, for some reason, it wasn't upload, letting me upload the photos of the items that were in the suitcase. So it wasn't registering every time. But on Sunday night, I finally managed to do that. And then on Monday morning, when he went to the airport, he went to like the check-in desks. I said to him, just go to the check-in desks. I asked them what happens to a suitcase if it doesn't ever have a tag put on it. Basically, what happened was, was that there was two security guards at, at the end of the checking desks and they said, oh my God, that's a, we've just put that suitcase to be shipped to or sh flown to Dubai. It's on the runway now. We can't pull it back because it's waiting to get on the aeroplane, but it will be in Dubai by the end of today. And I didn't hear anything on Monday. And then Tuesday, I made a couple of phone calls and they said, yeah, it's here. And I said, let me come and collect it. They were like, no, you can't come and collect it. What we'll do is we'll uh, courier it to you. So I said, okay. They said, when, when's a good time? I said, well, evening. So basically they put evening slot and it turned up at 10 past midnight. It was really late, wasn't it? But you said anything past 10. Yeah, I said as long I said if it's past 10, that's fine. So anyway, it turned up at like 20, 10 past 12. And the sorry that I got from Emirates was this. I don't know if you can read that. It just says, we're sorry your bags have been delayed and we apologize for the inconvenience. Thanks for your patience. There were some really important things in this suitcase. What was in there, Dr. Moo? For me, the most important things were my two adorable, teeny weeny, lovely hippos, which I adore so much and I cannot believe I have them back. They're my hippos. Uh. So basically, these are Moo's little hippos. They used to have a little bow here, a little pink bow. I bit them um, off. But they fell off. No, and, I bit them off. Oh, she bit them off. And they got like a little tail and they look a bit grubby, but they're actually clean, but they just are really, really, really old. And she's literally had these since when she was in my tummy. I bought 10 of them because I did the math with my older daughter. She had a pillow and in her lifetime, well, in her early lifetime, she lost eight. So she ended up 
with the ninth one and I figured that these were a little bit smaller so I actually bought 10 of these and these are the two that are left so my calculations worked didn't they? What else? Um, and then my blinky blanky trinky trunky from my auntie that, which I adore as much. I do this so I unravel it and then I do this, 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 this and sleep. So that's her little sleep routine and what she snuggles up to and actually when they arrived I, she was sleeping and she half woke up out of her sleep and I handed her the hippos and she looked at them in her sleep and they went like that and fell back asleep. I don't remember it. <laughs> Which was really cute and um, me and my husband were both so happy that she was reunited with her teddies because they mean so much to her. Also there was other things in the suitcase that belonged to you as well wasn't there? my shoes every single pair of her shoes except for the pair she had on her feet which were a white pair of yeezys which i can't wear to the beach i can't wear to the pool um <laughs> i basically i can only wear them like going out to like restaurants and well just doing activities but they're not sort of it's so hot here you can't really wear trainers during the day i know people do but we're not used to it, so flip-flops and that kind of stuff is ideal. So we bought a new pair of Crocs, Crocs with some little emblems on, pins I think they're called. Yeah. And we bought a pair of like flip-flop shoes as well, didn't we, to wear to the pool and stuff. Yeah. So it was really nice for her to be able to get that back. Also, what was in there was something very equally as important to you. No, to you. What was in there in the Pandora boxes? Aww, my Pandora bracelets that my school gave me. So her friends all chipped together and basically gave her um, a really beautiful Pandora bracelet with some charms and that was in the suitcase as well. So thank God it came goodness. back. Goodness. Sorry, thank, thank goodness that that came back because it was really important, wasn't it? Yeah. And for me, there was only two things of my belongings in this suitcase. And one of them was this Beautifect case. Now, if you've been following us, you'll know that I was gifted this from the company. It's a makeup case. So it's a bit grubby because I haven't had time to clean it, but it's got a mirror and you lift this up and then all your makeup fits inside. <laughs> so, to replace this would have been doable, but it was not an ideal situation. Um, one, I didn't really want to replace the case, just because it's just, it was gifted to me, and obviously that in itself has got a little bit of sentimental value to me, because the company literally gifted it to me. But also, the makeup inside, I have literally spent years and refining my makeup. I was cheesed off, but I was like, it's okay, it's okay, I can replace it, I can replace it. But I was not willing to replace it until I categorically knew that this suitcase was gone forever. And I'm so glad that I waited, but in the interim, what was I doing? My, um, play makeup. I was wearing her play makeup, which is makeup, like, that I bought years ago. <laughs> that she uses to dress up and play with. And I literally, all, the only thing I actually bought myself, one of these, in Sephora here. And it's the Tartlet Tubing Mascara, so I bought the travel size. Because I was, I knew in my heart, I just knew that this was... This suitcase, her teddies, my makeup, this box was all going to come back to us. I just knew I had so much faith and it did, thankfully, but this was what I bought. So I was using her makeup and this mascara for like the past 10 days. She think. used it, all my concealer, I think. Yeah, but you don't need concealer anyway, so it's fine because you're beautiful as you are. And it's way too pale for you anyway, because you look, we've got a little suntan. Stop it. <laughs> Um, and then also the other item of mine that was in there was my vegan um, Birkenstocks, which I literally live in when it's hot. I only bought them um, for our trip to America to see my auntie. So, so comfy. Nice. They're so comfy. They're white. They go with everything. I can walk on the beach with them. They're waterproof. They're wet. <whistles> like, oh, they're yeah, waterproof is wet proof they're sand proof they're everything proof aren't they yeah and and i was like oh i'll go and buy another pair if the suitcase is categorically lost the thing is that is worth noting is that we did pay it's not great that it didn't even get a ticket on it so one tip guys when you're traveling 
make sure before they send them off down that little conveyor belt that you physically see them put one of these travel tags on your suitcase because otherwise it's not going to get to you. Bye bye. Yes, it suitcase. is bye bye to your suitcase and your belongings. And trust me, it is not an easy process to get it back because as far as they're concerned, it's your word against theirs if they don't give you a ticket and a receipt which is not a very nice policy to have because I knew, we knew we had nine suitcases and we landed and we had eight and it made us late at the airport. There was stress. It was like, I knew that I just, I, I, we stayed calm through the whole thing. We weren't upset because I just knew we were going to get it back. So that is the story of this suitcase and it coming back to us after like 10 days of being in Dubai and Moo having to make do with a quackers, what is it? A little uh, quacker duck. It's a little duck. With a strawberry and bunny ears. It's got bunny ears. a duck. Is it a duck or a chicken? Duck. A duck. So she basically, we bought her a duck teddy bear and it's got like little bunny ear, a little bunny ear hairband and it's got a little handbag that's a strawberry. Yeah, basically I bought her that because you needed something to sleep with, didn't you? Yeah. So you've got now got another teddy to sleep with and it's called quackers. <laughs> but that's the story we got it back that's the process that you have to go through it did come back i'm sure not everybody is so lucky so that is the end of that video thank you guys for tuning in if you'd like to see more videos of us and our adventures in dubai drop a comment down below and don't forget to hit like subscribe and comment but as well as that have a nice day yeah bye